Come on, guys. We're almost there. You give in on the color scheme, and you let us use Kay's floors. Agreed? I still went all white. You're the one who said we all need a compromise. If no one gives in on anything, we're never going to get this double wedding plan. <sighs> all right, I give in. Okay, me too. Okay, we're doing great, guys. We actually agree on four things. We want the ceremony to be a St. Margaret Mary's. We want Father Lonigan to officiate, and we just agreed on the color and the florist. Amazing. And how long did it take us to get that far? Okay, don't think about that. We're all gonna be 90 by the time this wedding gets <laughs> off the ground. Uh, okay, what's next? Um, what about music at the church? Stop. We're such fools. We forgot the most important thing of all. What? The date. We need to figure out a date when we can all get married. Okay, how about March 1st for our uh, wedding? I can't. March 8th? <sighs> no way. April 12th? Mm, that's impossible. Okay, how about May 3rd? Huh. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, great. Awesome. Uh, no, I can't. I'm working a double shift that day. How about July 5th? Yeah. No. I have to be out on the fishing boats that whole weekend. Okay, this is insane. <laughs> we finally figured out what we want at our wedding, and now we can't even come up with a date. What are we gonna do? We are getting married. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> too good to be true. Wait, bite your tongue. I'm gonna book the church right now. I don't wanna lose this date. It's the only one we agree on. What's all the commotion in here? Sorry, Tabitha, we're a little excited. We finally figure out when we're getting married. Yeah, we're having a double wedding with Noah and Paloma. Oh, how nice. Well, all the best to all of you. <laughs> well, I hope you two couples beat the odds. <laughs> odds? Oh, yes. <laughs> Half the marriages in this country end in divorce, often with both partners detesting each other. <laughs> Not us. Oh, and a double wedding, too. My goodness, you are brave. <sighs> well, let's hope you're all still talking to one another when the weddings roll around. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. We've had some trouble figuring out what we all want, but we've all had to compromise. And now we have finally found a date that we all agree on. Back to square one. We found a date we can all agree on, but the church is booked solid that weekend. Oh, oh it's too good to be true. Oh, well, maybe it's a sign. Perhaps you should all live in sin. <laughs> I mean, you've already turned your backs on the church by indulging in premarital sex. <sighs> I've met monkeys with more control than this lot. <clears throat> no, we're getting married. <clears throat> figure out when. That was the only day that worked for all of us. How are we gonna find another one that isn't in a year or more away? What's going on? There's no magic. It must be in Dora. Oh, I'll go get her. How is that possible? <laughs> that bat is flying. <laughs> well, bats usually do. I told you there was magic in this house. Magic? You lost your mind. It, it, it's flying by remote control. Yeah, that is one fancy toy. <laughs> remote control? <laughs> yes, remote control. It's some. Um, it's from the, uh, the sharper than the serpent's tooth catalog. Very popular with our single parents. There's nothing like high-tech gadgets to tell our little ones how much we love them. <laughs> okay, darling, turn it off now. Turn it off there. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about the wedding. Well, if the church isn't available for the date that we all agreed upon, then I think we don't have much choice. We can either postpone the wedding for a year or more, or we could just call off the double wedding altogether. Oh, 
Hello? Yes, she? Oh my God, that's great. Yeah, no, we definitely want it. Thank you so much. Hey, bye. Hey, that was the church. There was a mistake. The church is available for the day that we want it. Uh, yes, we're gonna have a double wedding. It's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, goody, goody. All right, what did you and Tabitha do? Wow, this is a surprise. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully a good one. Yes. Mm. So, you know that Teresa left town, huh? I heard. Any idea where she went? Not really. Mama said Teresa and Ethan were having problems and she wanted to get away to think. Yeah, see, that doesn't sound like Teresa to me. Did Mama say what they were having problems about? Not exactly. Oh. Well, evidently Teresa has a new man in her life. No way. Yeah. Teresa? Uh-huh. I didn't believe it at first either, but uh, I don't know what to believe about anything anymore. Everyone in this whole town seems to be acting completely out of character. <laughs>